Today's lesson is going to be an exciting one. We're going to look at how to create topology uh, within a geodatabase. So this follows with the lessons of how to create and edit within a geodatabase. And often the next step is to establish topological rules between different feature classes and within a feature class. So we're going to learn kind of the basics on how to do that. So right now I've got a geodatabase set up. Uh, the key to doing topology is that I have to have uh, not only the geodatabase, but in another container called a feature data set. The feature data set is, uh, makes all the feature classes within it have to be the same coordinate system and the same underlying um, resolution or tolerances. And those are key to the topology tools working correctly. So within the feature data set, I've got a series of different feature classes. These are all for Yellowstone National Park, so if I kind of quickly look through these, I've got the boundary file, I've got ranger districts, roads, and trails. Now, just at, at first glance, all this looks pretty good, and probably if I zoomed in, uh, it would look cartographically pretty good. But for doing analysis, let's say network analysis with trails, or um, looking for small little mistakes in this data, topology rules are, are really important for finding those errors and correcting them. So they're key to having uh, quality control and integrity with your data both for analysis and um, other types of, of, of work. So we're going to go back here and go inside our feature data set and either here on the feature data set or here in the contents pane go to new and create a new topology. And this is going to launch a little wizard that's going to allow us to um, make all the settings for a topology. So let's uh, I'll, assuming you're going to read all the details and go to the help files if you need it, well, let's go through this and see what it's asking for. So it's going to ask us for a name. I'm going to leave that for a default. Asking for a cluster tolerance. Um, this is where it's going to um, use this cluster tolerance to decide when two points that are really close are exactly the same. Um, this is defaulting to the XY tolerance of the feature data set. In general, those should be the same. Um, here, we're pretty small at it, it, it just one, um, uh, one millimeter. So I'm going to go up to one centimeter. And so that's going to define kind of the spatial resolution of my vector data here. Anything within 10 centimeters is going to be snapped together. Then I need to let um, the tool know which uh, feature classes are going to participate in topology. Uh, Feature classes can only participate in one topology, so if I select it here, I can't create a second topology and include the same layer. So for right now, we're going to look at just trails and the boundary. Next, it's going to ask me to rank these two. So if it needs to move something, it's going to move uh, the features in the lower ranked data set more than in the higher ranked data set. So if you have, let's say, the boundary here, I don't want it to move at all. I consider that to be my kind of master layer. And I'm OK if the trails moves a little bit to match the boundary. So I want to change the rank of trails to be lower than the rank of boundary. And if I've got quite a few uh, feature data set or feature classes in, in my topology, I may need to increase the number of ranks. Now I need to set up my topology rules. There's quite a few rules here, so you definitely need to look over Esri's help files. They got a nice poster that shows a, a visual illustration of all the different topology rules for points, lines, and polygons. So that's a must before kind of proceeding to adding these different rules. So I'm going to apply a couple of them, and this is an extensive list. You might want to apply more if this is a real scenario. So I'm going to start and um, I'm going to say that my trails, I want to make sure that they're inside the park boundary. So I'm going to go to trails and look for an appropriate rule here. I think that's been a while since I've looked at these. Must be inside feature class of boundaries. All right, I think that's the right rule. We'll find out when we actually look at the, uh, the errors in this rule. So I'm going to say OK for that one. So that's one rule that's been added. I'm going to create another one that's just for the trails itself. 
So I'm going to say the trails must not overlap. Um, so this is just one feature class that's involved. So I can't have a trail that overlaps itself or another trail. Um, that shouldn't be allowed. So I'm going to say OK. And now I have two different rules for my topology. Go to next, gets a summary of the topology, and say finish. Now it's going to create the topology and it's going to ask me if I want to validate it. And generally you want to say yes, but I'm going to say no here just to show you something. And I'm going to then click on the topology and I can preview it, I can visualize what it's going to look like. And right now I get this hashed blue um, box over my whole study area. And this is showing me the quote dirty areas, the areas in my study or in my, in my feature data set that haven't been validated yet. And as you do topology and make edits and make changes and apply new rules, you're, you may have dirty areas for part of your spatial extent, but not the whole thing. So in this case right now, since I haven't valid anything, um, the whole spatial extent is dirty. And I can right click on this topology and do the same thing I can validate. Let's do some cranking here in order to find the features that don't match those two rules. Uh, and then sometimes, in this case, I'm going to hit F5, maybe, go away and come back. And now I see all the places that I've got rule violations. And it looks like I have a lot of trails that go outside the park boundary around the edge and a few interior issues here. Now, what's good at this point before we switch into ArcMap is to go to your topology, right-click, and go to Properties. And then we can look at the errors and generate a summary. And this gives us a sense of the number of errors that exist for the topology rules that we've established. Uh, we've got 12 points. This is something that's universal across topology of points that are larger um, than the cluster tolerance that I've set. So 77 errors total. And now our next step is to deal with them. And we're not going to do that inside of ArcMap. We're gonna, or sorry, our catalog, we're going to do that in ArcMap. So we'll do that in the next video. Thanks.